Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Cook That, where we make things tastier than the feeling of fighting an evil organizational leader with your best friend while dodging lasers with your mad skills. <laughs> even if your thumbs start hurting after five minutes of trying to do it. My name is Doug Grosser, your nerdy cook, and today we are gonna take one of my favorite games, Kingdom Hearts 2, and make its sea salt ice cream. Now sea salt ice cream may sound complicated, but you only really need six things, and only three of them are the actual ingredients themselves. Let's get this Twilight Train going. Yeah, there's not that much stuff. Like I said, this is probably gonna be the easiest thing that you do all week. All you need is you can of dolce de leche. Whether you made it yourself or if you bought it from the store. The delicious caramel -y color of dolce de leche. Take that, plop it right into your bowl. Room temperature dolce de leche is very, very sticky stuff. So, you need to break it up a little bit. So I always have a silicone spatula. These things, nothing sticks to them. And I didn't mean nothing, nothing. Got an ice cream mixture there. And now, of course, this is sea salt ice cream after all. We got to add some salt, a big pinch of it, right in there. If I was to actually give a volumetric measurement, I would probably say about half to three quarters of a teaspoon. Stir it up. Now for this, because this is Kingdom Hearts sea salt ice cream, that means it has to be blue. You're gonna want about 20 to 25 drops of blue food coloring. Remember, this dolce de leche, brown. Brown plus blue, you're gonna get some weird colors. So the only way to counteract that is using a lot of it. Don't worry, it will look really dark. That's why you have your whipped topping to lighten it up. Let's start there. Now as you can see, we have a nice dark blue mixture. Don't worry, like I said, our whipped topping is gonna lighten it up. Eight ounces of this stuff, at least original. Original will make sure that when you freeze it, it will have a nice, smooth consistency when you take it out. Don't be harsh with this stuff. It is very, very sensitive. You don't want to be mean to it. So fold it into your mixture. You'll see streaks of the whipped topping still in your mixture. Don't worry about it. Just get most of it mixed in. And there we go. We got ourselves some sea salt ice cream ready to be made. Now, if this is still a little too light for you or a little too green for you, add a couple more blue food coloring drops. To me, this looks perfect. So let's put it into our mold. Well, we need a mold first. Just grab yourself a spoon. Try not to eat it all at once, and fill up your mold. Take the rest of your ice cream, and grab yourself a plastic wrap. Make sure you get rid of that first. And that too. over the top. Stick this and your mold in the freezer for at least four hours. It's always better overnight. Remember, it will be worth the wait. Take your pop, take your mixture, stick it in the freezer. And that's it. So, Wanna make another? Let's do it again. Which is a little different this time. All right, 
So instead of using whipped topping now, we're going to be using regular old whipped cream. But we're going to add a little extra flavor to this. So just like before, take your dolce de leche and stick it into a bowl. Allow it to ooze on out. With your dolce de leche, break it up a little so that it becomes easier to mix in. And to this, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, the zest of a single lemon, and that's it for our extras. Now, let's do what we did before. Take our blue food dye. One, two, three, and let's try that out first. Looks a little too dark now, right? Well, don't worry. Remember, we still got the whipped cream to add to it, which will lighten it all up. Finally, just a pinch of sea salt. Mix it all in. And now for the whipped cream. Two cups of it, in fact, right into a chilled bowl, making sure that it's all full. Grab yourself an electric mixer and give it the spurs. Take your cream and dolce de leche and fold the cream into your blueness. Start off by lightening it up and mix in one part. Now as you can see, we're getting kind of a green flavor rather than our blue. So because of that, we're gonna add a couple more drops of blue food coloring. About six. Another six. And fold in the rest your whipped cream. Mm -mm. Now Once it's all set, grab your mold and fill her up. Now, especially for these molds, you're gonna have to push it down in. I know it's gonna get quite messy, but don't worry. It's gonna be worth it in the end. Fill her to the top, give her a good wipe so that it's not too messy. Don't worry, you can always eat a leftover mess. Grab your popsicle molds and return them to the freezer. Take your leftover mix, put plastic wrap over the top and also throw it in the freezer. It should harden within four hours, but it will be better overnight. It's actually good as is. I kind of want to eat it straight up. That's why I'm leaving that there. That's why I'm leaving that there. Take it over to the sink. Just put some cold running water over it. This will allow the outside to loosen up, to slightly thaw, so that you can pull it out while the inside still remains nice and frozen. And then, when it's time, Slowly and easily lift it up. Voila. If you want to refreeze it just a little more or save it for later, just stick it on a sheet tray and put it back into the freezer. But I'm hungry now. So take your sea salt ice cream and just a little bit more sea salt right over it. That's for you. Don't worry, I got plenty back in there. It's good still, right? Now, both are delicious, but they'll give you two different textures. 
and two different flavor profiles. Your whipped topping one will be more like a frozen marshmallow. It'll have air pockets within it, which is very good if you like that taste of marshmallow. Now, your whipped cream one will be a little more smooth and it'll also have that added benefit of a little extra vanilla and a little extra lemon. Both are quite tasty though. I mean, it is incredibly tasty, but wait, what's that sound? Where did that timer come from? Oh, oh, I'm back. I'm back. Where am I? Oh, hey, ice cream. What's that other guy who looks strangely like me doing? Hmm. Well, anyway, stay awesome. Stay weird, my friends. My spirit commands you to like and subscribe. You do not want to face the wrath of this spirit. So please like and subscribe. It really helps. Stay awesome and stay weird. And as always, stay awesome and stay weird.